Well, my hearties, a very good evening to you. It's me. Saturday evening, nothing gets past me, of course. And welcome, 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 I say. You're watching Scotty McClue, and we are live on the big one. TikTok, dinky doo, lovely to pop up and be with you, of course, on a Saturday evening. This is the time to join me here on TikTok, and let's talk. TikTok talk show, that's what it's all about. As soon as you're here, we will get chatting big style. Now, make sure you tell all your TikTokers about Scotty McClue live on TikTok. It's very, very important. Ha ah, love it. Boss, dinky doo. Hello, mate. Hello, Kirsten. Lovely to have you with us, and hello to every single one of you. Do come and join. But it's important that you follow, because we're very, very short on followers and very, very big on viewers. Apparently, normally, it's the other way around on TikTok. Not many people are watching, but everybody's following. On this one, everyone's watching, but not enough are following. So please follow. Where are you from? I'm from Irvin. I think you do. Follow us as soon as you come on guys thank you rockstar thank you boss boy thank you tango for following very very much appreciated and as soon as i see you following i'll give you a shout out now remember never ever ever spam never ever ever troll that's the way to a quick disappearance live on tiktok morning i'm back welcome welcome yes my scottish friend jeremiah we love having you on here morning i'm back molly tater is it the morning? Where are you? Um, if you get hate, ignore it. I shall do. That's the way we don't approve of hate. We are all about love. And that's what it's about. And we're also all about fun. And we're all about laughter. Love, fun, and laughter. Hi. Hi, Olivia. Dinky do. Welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. And thanks for popping up. We don't do pronouns because uh, we're all inclusive. Good afternoon, sir. Hope you're well. Yes, dinky do. I'm from Scotland. Excellent, Olivia. Good afternoon to you. Hiya, Scotty. Hello. Welcome to our worldwide TikTok talk show. Tremendous stuff. How's your day? Love from England. Dinky do. Top comment. Excellent stuff. Follow us, guys. Thank you so much. Scotty, could you give my buddy James a shout out? Yes, I can. Hello, it's a pilot here. I've just touched down in Tokyo City. Welcome. Well done, sir. Yes, full flap. <laughs> Hello from Norfolk. Dinky do. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Very important. My MO, we don't do pronouns. We're too modern. We're all inclusive on here. So everybody is welcome. Nobody ever has to justify themselves on Scotty McClure's TikTok Live. Big man, give Nathan a shout out. Yes, I will. Dinky do. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Top comment. Now, I've got my tea with me. So we get a sip of tea. Mmm. Excellent stuff. Can I ask you a question? Of course you can, Matt. Dinky do. Happy birthday to my friend, says Tommy. Tommy, welcome, welcome, I say. Now, can everyone follow us? Everybody watch the lives and like them because we are building and building and we won't get very far without you. So if you're going to be part of Scotty McClure's live stream, then for goodness sake, get following. That's what it's all about. As soon as you come on, you follow, and then we chat. You can watch the videos. We've got all sorts. We've got the YouTube channel. We've got Twitter, at Scotty McClure. Can you swim? I can swim like a fish. Celtic or Rangers, I would go and watch them both play and then make a decision. That's what it's about. And remember, it's not cast in stone. Absolutely, there's not a problem. Uh, Scotty, dinky-doo, dinky-doo, pepe. There we are. Now, what should happen to Martin Bashir? I don't know, but I was very, very, very disappointed. Very disappointed. You know, because I used to look up to the BBC. There we are. Uh, what age are you? We just don't know. You know, uh, now there's BHDF trying to troll. Asking, do I still work in a supermarket? Now, I never have worked in a supermarket, but because he's trying to troll, 
He does this on every single live. Doesn't work on Scotty McClue, so you're heading for a lifetime ban. Do you like America? I adore America. I absolutely love it. Dinky do, Scotty. How are you? Long time no see. Shakaroni. How lovely to have you with us. Follow us, guys, as soon as you come on. Uh, opinions on Nicholas Sturgeon. Outstanding. Outstanding politician. There we are. Yes, national broadcaster. That's it. Scotty was knitted by his grandma, who ran out of yarn. Uh, well, I haven't run out of yarns. He's a time traveler. He was knitted, not born. Chu Young, thank you for giving me a beautiful red rose from TikTok. Thank you so much. Two, two beautiful red roses. Thank you. I went to watch Peter Rabbit, the, the cinema the other day. Are you a fan? Massive, massive fan of Peter Rabbit. Have you ever seen Miss Potter about Beatrix Potter, the author? Outstanding lady. Lloyd Brea, what are you doing giving me these beautiful red roses? Now, uh, there's a troll. Troll alert, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go with the troll. Hang on a wee second. Right, Mitchell is trolling. So Mitchell leaves us now. Bye, Mitchell. Everybody shout bye, Mitchell. Watch for the wee purple line. There he goes. Woo! Mitchell's down the Swanee. Independence or not. Definitely independence because London has sucked the life out of Scotland for 313 years, and it has to stop. Simple as that. Right, there we are. That's mine. It's all economic. I'm not a political person. We are not political on TikTok. That's what it's about. Four beautiful red roses. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I say. Opinions on Harry Potter. No, no. Beatrix Potter was born in the 1850s. Yes, so there we are. So uh, she was long, long before Harry Potter. Send us a black arts. Ashley, thank you for these red roses. What a lovely, lovely thought. Guys, thank you for all your generous gifts on TikTok. We've got a lady called Maria Knight who has sent me thousands, hundreds of thousands of TikToks, diamonds, gold. Ah, oh, just incredible. She's a beautiful lady. Uh, Thank you. Come and join us. Hi, mate. Have a nice day. Thank you, Craven. Dinky do to you. Guys, has everybody followed Scotty McClue? We must start following. And can everybody tap their screen? Let's get building. Start loving all the videos for me. Who do you prefer, Godzilla or Kong? Um, I think I actually, I think I actually prefer Clyde who was with Clint Eastwood in Every Witch Be With Loose. Is that right? Out with the trolls. The trolls are toast. Uh, just gave you roses. Lloyd, thank you so much for the roses. You are a lovely, lovely person. That is just a beautiful thing to do. Now then. Who have we got here? Dinky Doo. What do you think of Peter Rabbit? I adore Peter Rabbit. I used to read it as a child. And if you can get a child reading for pleasure, enjoying themselves at a tiny age, then their education will be sorted. That's kind of how it works. Return, yes, egg or toast? Both egg on toast. That's what I say. Is the UK a wonderful place to settle in? Well, the UK is not a place. It's actually four countries of Scotland, England, Northern Ireland, or Wales. And if you settle in one of those, then you are obviously, at the moment, part of the UK. But that may not last because of Brexit. Brexit has caused political fragmentation of the UK. Please, can you sing the goodbye song and streaming services? Oh, I know what you mean, Shakaroni. Great Britain is a landmass, you see. So it's not a country. There's not such a country as Great Britain. It's just a landmass. Come and join us as soon as you possibly can. Wonderful. Do you play golf? Never played golf in my life. So there we are. Do a backflip. <coughs> A backflip. Right, are you ready? Oh, amazing. Can you do a David Attenborough impression? 
Nothing is stirring in the frozen landscape. Then a slight movement across the Arctic tundra. It's the one resident of this forgotten place. The Arctic fox. Oh, <laughs> you're so good at backflips. I am a backflipper. Scotland's better off as part of the UK and better together. No, Scotland, Reese. listen to me, Chime. Scotland is not better off, better together as part of the UK. Scotland is £75 billion pounds a year worse off. You see what I mean? So it's not better off. So stop saying that. You must stick to the facts. Great impression now. Thank you very much. There we go now. Who have we got here? Scotty, what should I have for my dinner? Smith, what would you like? That's what I would say. Uh, now, who have we got here? Sorry, the UK is a country. The four nations that make it up are also countries in their own right. No, no, no. The UK is not a country. The UK is a united kingdom. Do you see what I mean? Under the crown. Yes, there we have it. Afternoon, Scotty. Just had fish and chips. And very nice cold. Ah, right, fair enough. I've never tried that. I wouldn't try that at home, folks. Did you play? Never played golf in my life. Uh, do a Boris Johnson impression. I, I couldn't. I, you see, no, I, well, I, nah. Uh, there we are. I couldn't do one. Can you do the roadman for us? A roadman. Oh. I did the stop go sign, you see. Very important to do the stop go sign. On ye come! On ye come! That's it! <laughs> uh, take after Ireland and leave the UK. What currency would an independent Scotland use? Jack, I think they could use any currency. They could probably use the sterling. Uh, they could use the euro. They could introduce the pound Scots. You see, the currency doesn't really matter. It depends if it's pegged to another currency. Uh, what you find that at the time of union, they had a problem facilitating union because Scotland's economy, even although depressed by King William and Queen Anne later, uh, intentionally depressed, the rug pulled from under it, and then the bribery started. But uh, even with all that, Scotland's economy was considerably stronger than the English economy. And Scotland had to seriously, seriously devalue its currency to facilitate economic union. There you are now, you see. So uh, it can choose. I would say go back to the pound Scots. You see, before Ireland joined the euro, I can remember being in Ireland and they had the punt, the punt. And uh, the pound was sort of pegged to the pound, but it was performing much better than the pound. That sort of idea. Yes, indeed. Pie and beans. Oi, Scotty, how are you? Dinky do. Now, a pie for dinner. Yes, indeed, Joseph. So there we are. You sound like Prince John from the animated Robin Hood film. I love it, Prince John. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Would you walk 500 miles and walk 500 more? I have done, Darth. Absolutely. Up the Royal Artillery, says Daily Quotes, obviously an officer in the British Army. Can you do an Irish impression, north or south? If I'm doing south, then I'll be a lot softer, you see, yourself now. But uh, if I was doing north, I'd be a little bit harder. That sort of idea. What's the meaning of life? The meaning of life is love. The meaning of life is joy. The meaning of life is loving being you. It's a beautiful thing to be. There's the wonderful Maria Knight. Now, Maria, not too many TikToks because you're very generous. Stop at 30. There are 28 to deny 30. There we are. That 
Maria. Maria's gone past it with the TikTok skies. The meaning of life, fantastic. Has everybody followed me as soon as you come on? Guys, let's have a follow fest. Tap your screen and get following. Scrap devolution, says Reese. In a sense, you're correct. Scotland sends 75 billion a year south. Callum, I'm not correct in a sense. I am 100% correct. <laughs> Say hi to Beth and Lucy, please. Of course. Dinky do BDHS. Fantastic. That's what it's all about. Fish or chicken, both. <coughs> What's your problem with the UK? Well, just the problem is it sucked the life out of Scotland for 313 years and prevented it from growing economically because all of Scotland's trading, imports, exports, everything, particularly the exports, get labelled as UK. And Scotland doesn't get the credit or the money. So there we are. Don't trust the English. It's not a question of not trusting the English. I know the English. They're beautiful, beautiful, beautiful people. I'm talking about can Westminster be trusted to look after Scotland? And that's your problem. Did you play any sports? Rugby? Rowing? Sailing? I used to put rowing down on my CV. The real Tyson's just sent me a pound. Give us a wee reel on the squeeze box. Which superpower would you choose and why? There we are. Well, is uh, the UK still a superpower? You know, and uh, also, we like America. Yes, absolutely, we do indeed. Best combination you'll see is the crown on top of the Bible. That confuses a lot of people. Well, it shouldn't confuse anybody's scrag as long as it doesn't get used to uh, divide and rule. All right. How do you feel about Canada? I adore Canada. I've never been, but I love the Canadian people, and I love the look of the country. The UK is a sovereign country. <clears throat> I know you're never wrong, but this case you aren't. No, no. No, no. The UK is not a sovereign country. The sovereign is our sovereign lady of Scotland and England and Northern Ireland. Wales is a principality. It's under her son, but she is still sovereign. In Scotland, she has graciously granted sovereignty, parliamentary sovereignty, to the people of Scotland, and they have their own parliament. Same with Wales, of course. So there you are. But the United Kingdom itself has um, surrendered its sovereignty to a handful of Hooray Henrys when we came out of the EU. Yes, we were sovereign in the EU. So there we are. That's what I will say to you. There we are, four sovereign countries. Now, uh, I Dugan, we could ban you for that, but we probably won't bother. Fantastic roadman, you're a lollipop man in your past life. Are you a karate master? No, but I used to go a route out with one uh, until she gave me the chop. So that was that. He's crazy. <laughs> Good old Scottish power and the British pound. Yes, why not? Well, the sterling, the pound sterling, because the Bank of England was invented by a Scotsman, uh, as all banking was, really. We ever invest in crypto or Bitcoin? I don't think so, Shakaroni, but that doesn't mean that it isn't an investment one way or the other. Do you see what I mean? But I don't think... Uh, bother with that. Hello from Houston. Hello, Houston. Is that Houston in Renfrewshire or Houston in Texas? We're super proud where we've done all that, haven't we? Now, there we are. Who have we got here? Wonderful, wonderful stuff. <laughs> right. Uh, rule Britannia, says somebody. Wait a minute. Britannia rules the waves. Well, Reese, that was true in 1800. In fact, it was actually true up until about the First World War, and then Britannia failed to rule the waves. That was the end of that. Now, Britannia herself is obviously a mythical character, and a rule Britannia, if you like singing it, was written by a Scotsman. So it's a nice wee Scottish ditty. There we are. Can you do an Irish impression? I do, you need to chuck that. 
right? We don't have thugs on here. So there we are. So you need to chuck that. Can you do? Yes, we've done that. Scotty, please can I have two mongoose? MSN, do you think that's what it is? Guys, I need your opinion. I need everyone to go on to Scotty McClure's TikTok videos and check out writing a letter, dear sir. Obviously, if you're on Twitter and you're following me at Scotty McClure, then hashtag Floatai, first lord of the internet. You'll see it on my profile on TikTok. So there we are. Scotland should join the EU. There we are, just to mess with the Brits. Well, there's no such thing as the Brits fly by. That was the United Kingdom, you see. Don't tell him, Scotty, the Brit Nats don't like answers. Well, he'll have to learn. Call him a dinky do, or he'll get a shock. God save our gracious queen. What's your favorite film? The most recent one, The Imitation Game, but I love, I love, love, love. Yes, Where Eagles Dare. I've seen it so many times, as soon as I put it on, I'm still in the edge of the seat. Reggie, thank you for that beautiful gift. Great Britain's not a country, it's a landmass, but the UK absolutely is a country. No, the UK absolutely is four countries. Have you got that? But they all make up the UK. Yes, got it sorted. Now, who we got? Do you ever see peace between Palestine and Israel? Well, you see, my father, who was a very, very wise man indeed, said to me in 1968, that's when he said it to me, there's been no peace in that land for 2,000 years. Now, my father um, had been dropped into all the theaters of war. My old, uh, my old boyhood hero, Lieutenant Colonel Colin Mitchell of the Argyles was wounded in a bomb blast at the King David Hotel in, was it 1948? What do you think of Mary, Queen of Scots? I still feel desperately, desperately sad for what they did to Mary. A beautiful little lady made very anxious and afraid and treated appallingly, shockingly. But she gave us some nice words and some nice things. I'll give you a couple of examples. Before golf was actually officially invented in the 1600s at Leith Links in Scotland, uh, Mary Queen of Scots played a form of golf. And she had young soldiers from France because she was very much a French lady. She was brought up in France and she had young soldiers carrying her golf clubs. Now, these young soldiers in French were the cadets or les cadets. So the word caddy came from Mary Queen of Scots. So next time you're all golfing, think I'll just get a Mary Queen of Scots to carry my golf clubs. So fantastic. Do you ever see peace between Palestine and Israel? So, um, you know, I think that's the difficulty. They need to stop chucking ordnance at each other. A lot of beautiful young children and innocent people have died in the last few weeks for absolutely no reason at all. Shocking, shocking, shocking. Uh, so there we are, both countries, they need to get their act together, you know. The Balfour Declaration in 1929 didn't help. Was it 29 or 21? I'll have to just check the date off the top of my head. A.J. Balfour, can you do an Irish impression? Of course I can now. Top of the morning to you there now yourself. Roll Britannia, Britannia. Well, we've done all that, Reese. La, 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 la. Um, now, Scotty, do you know any other languages? Sunset, which ones would you like? Uh, God and Jesus loves you. They don't just love me, they adore me. And I adore them. How amazing is that? Dinky do. Hello, beautiful man. Hello, Feline. So there we are. Lovely to have you with us. Um, Reese Britannia is a name the Romans used for England and Wales. Reese Britannia. Well, how interesting. Nice impression. What's the meaning of life again? The meaning of life is love and joy and peace and happiness. Yes.
All that sort of thing, looking after your fellow people. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. Scotty, any celebrity pals? Oh, falling down with celebrity pals. Yes, indeed. Right across the board. There we are. 100 beautiful TikToks from the beautiful Maria Knight. Thank you, Maria. You are an angel. A true angel. Scotland should join the EU. I think it probably will. I love you, man, says Pizza. Dinky-doo Pizza. Lovely to have you with us. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. We need a follow fest. We'll get some of the 75 billion back, though. We're told it's a gift. <laughs> a gift, I know. Get your own money back. It's like giving your mother all your wages and she gives you back your beer money. So uh, what we get from Westminster via the Barnet formula is about, I think, 28 billion from the 75. So we're only giving them, what was that? If we're giving them the 75, we're only actually giving them 47 billion. Am I right? In the 1600th year, Scotty's such a legend. Long live Scotty. Do you know that Scotty will be celebrating 29 years in a month's time on the radio, late night, during the day, all sorts. In the newspapers, on your televisions. Incredible, isn't it? Have you been to South Africa? No, but I know a lot of South African people from the Eastern Cape. There you go, fantastic. I would love to go to South Africa and have a braai with you. Throw something on the braai for Scotty McClure. Hi from Sydney in Australia. Why, Vess, lovely to have you with us. And dinky-doo, Callum says, is right. You know, of course, McClure is always right, Callum, because I've done my research. 50 years of it. Not just going into some search engine and going, there you are. 50 years of research. Oh, proper research. Hi from Cheshire in England. I love it. I used to take my car to Nutsford for servicing, and I would go and have lunch and pick it up later. Nutsford. Chester. I adore Chester. Come back to the EU. We will do, flyboy. It's funny when people knock the EU because it's our EU. We built it. 50 years of peace and prosperity. And we came out just to save rich people paying tax. <laughs> ruined, ruined all the countries. Can you say hi to Caleb for me? Yes, indeed. Dinky do, the new world order, says Dinky do. Maria sent a hundred red roses. So there we go. Who have we got here? Uh, James Patterson, the Bank of England invented. Yes, indeed. And also the Bank of Scotland. Was it definitely James Patterson? It was a Patterson. Check the first name for me just to see I've got it right in my head. My head. Oh, guys, news flash. I found the bonnet. Look, you see? So I've got the bonnet. And it was about three feet. No, less. Yes, three feet away from where I was looking. <laughs> <laughs> the bonnet. Hello from Montana. We love it. Are you near Butte in Butte, Montana? Do tell me. Guys, can you follow us as soon as you come on? We need a follow fest right now. And I mean a massive, massive follow fest. There has been a terrible thing happened here. We've been doing TikTok live for five weeks. We've had over half a million viewers. I've only got 12,000 followers. Well, nearly 13,000. Yes? Can you please follow me? Follow, 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 follow. Montana Dinky Doo. Hello from Huntsville in Texas. Kyle, we love you in Texas. Thank you for everything you do for us and for the world. Hello from Massachusetts. Uh, on the lights all went on in Massachusetts. Follow us, guys. Dinky Doo. Hi from England. Don't say that about Scotty. What's happening, Luke? Uh, somebody cheeking up. We don't like people checking up. Who's the new Duke of Edinburgh? Well, did you not tell me that Prince Charles was taking the title? Is that right? 
I don't know. I'll have to check that. Britannia still rules the waves, Scotty. You're a British hater. Hunts, I don't hate anything ever at all. How dare you? All right, how dare you ever imply that Scotty McClue was a hater? Britain is a landmass. How can you hate a landmass? It's a beautiful land mass. It's the home to four beautiful countries full of beautiful people. Scotland, England, Northern Ireland, Wales. All right? So there you go. How does Britannia rule the waves when there's superior air power all over the world? Right? Okay, so steady on, steady on. And never, ever, ever uh, say that Scotty McClue hates because hating shuts off an avenue of learning. Yes, Britannia did rule the waves 200 years ago, and in fact up to about 100 years ago. Yes, have you got it? Freedom for Scotland. Where's he reading all the comments? Everywhere, look, they're all here. Somebody sent me beautiful laughing. There we are. I had to just tell um, Hunt's off there. Pineapples going pizza, I'm out. No, Reggie, I don't think, I think maybe once I've tried a pineapple on a pizza, but why would you? You know what I'm saying? Why would you, Reggie? Yes. Hello from Montana. We love you, Lumberjack. Dinky-doo. Up the imps, says Angela. Is that the Hillman imps? Or if you're talking about up the impi, that would be a South African tribe. Yes. Uh, the impi. Is that right? Not your regular TikTok. Free Palestine. Yes, and free. And free Israel. I can't find your Twitter. Taken at... Scotty McClue. So small e, the little ampersand, capital S, small c, o double t i e. McClue, capital M, small c, capital C, l u e. S c o t t i e m c c l u e. If you put it into your search engine, it'll come up as well. There we are. Dinky. From Croatia, Batwa. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, Wales, Scotland, England, and Northern Ireland. The Apostle James, you are correct. Follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. Should Scotland be independent from England, Scotland should be independent financially and economically from Westminster. Do you see the difference? Yes, indeed. Uh, there we are. <clears throat> you on your period, says Jay. Uh, I'm on my break, Jay, so I'm having a cup of tea for a period. There you are. Just a short period. And I mean that full stop. There we are. Excellent stuff. Now, hi, who we got here? All these beautiful, beautiful people. I thank you. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. What are you on about, says Ice Cold? Ice Cold, you go back to coloring in and don't worry. There we are. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Jeremy Loves Christ says the Holy Trinity. Yes, in nomine Patris, son Fili, et Spiritus Sanctus. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Fantastic. There you are, guys. Poor Lass was kept at Craig Nathan Castle. Was she Craig? Yes, along with Loch Leven Castle. Yes, yeah, she was put into Leven Castle. Scotland will never have peace the way the SNP are trying to divide the country. And you're back here. Hunts. The SNP aren't dividing the country. Westminster has divided the country by Brexit. Can you see that? Nobody wanted it. Four countries were dragged kicking and screaming out of their world's top trading block, world's top trading block that they'd built up over 50 years of peace and prosperity for absolutely no reason at all other than for a few hooray Henrys to avoid tax. So, you know, sober up. Scotland's not trying to break up the UK. Westminster are separatists. Yes, that's what's happening. I believe Jesus is our Lord and Savior, of course. The most important thing about a country 
influence and power. <clears throat> I think so. I mean, you know, Britain was power number four in the world. At one point, it was power number one. But that's history for you, you see. Now, who have we got here? Um, I love listening to your streams at work. You never change. Harold Pilcher, lovely, lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky-doo, I say. You look Mexican. Yes, indeed. I think I am. Got a bit of Mexico in me. Uh, whereabouts in Scotland are you from? From the West Coast? Absolutely. Who have we got here? Hello from Canada. Follow us, guys. As soon as you come on, Alec Bryce. Thank you for following us, Alex. Very much appreciated. Scotty, you are my idol. You're my favorite TikToker, says Musical World. Musical World, you're my favorite world. I love music. Scotty, you are my idol, says Freya. Thank you, Freya. Now, SNP or Alba or Greens. Oh, not the Greens. The Greens apparently were not taking the oath of allegiance to Her Majesty the Queen seriously and properly. And I think unless they can do so, with an open mind and an open heart, then they should stand down. That's what I would say. Yes, take the oath seriously. Sorry, if you read my comment, I'll do my work. All right, I shall read it. There you are. Now, what have we got here? Hi from California, Scotty, you look as handsome as ever, as ever. You're lovely, you're very kind. Hi darling from Canada, Angela Dinky Doo. We love you in Canada. The real radio phone in, what happened to we Bob? Uh, he tried but failed to be you. Listen, Craig, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. And there's a few people tried to be Scotty McClure, but they can't. And the one reason they can't ever be Scotty McClue or as successful as Scotty McClue is because they don't know what's coming next. They don't have Scotty McClue's brain, so they don't know what I'm going to say. And I don't know what's coming next, and I don't know what I'm going to say. <laughs> so that's why you'll never, ever, ever have a successful impersonation of Scotty McClure. All right, we man, how are you doing from Govan? Dinky do. Uh, there's one guy that uh, uses a lot of my sayings, uh, and uh, and that's interesting. All right, we man, how are you doing from Govan? We're always doing well in Govan. I know Govan so well. Do you know Point House? Uh, I feel like I'm in a history lesson. Well, to an extent you are, we're all in a history lesson. Do you see what I mean? Every day is a history lesson. Hello, my Scottish brother from another mother. Dinky doo super. The rich getting richer, the poor getting poorer. No, 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 no. You're judging it on money. That's not rich. That's moneyed. Scotty McClue is perhaps the richest man in the world. I just don't have any money. Yeah. Never, ever, ever judge being rich on money. The only true wealth is life. Yeah. The rich don't get richer because you can never, ever own anything. Yes. You can only curate it. And as my dear father, who would have been 99 this week, a lovely, lovely man, used to say, perfect gentleman, 100%, and also handsome guy, handsome, like a, a movie idol. I'll show you a picture of my father. Wait, let's see. There he is. This is my father. This is the man himself. Wonderful, wonderful guy. And as my father used to say, you can only wear one suit. Yes, absolutely. So never think anything about the rich and the rich. Get that chip off your shoulder right now, and your life will improve dramatically. Okay, now who have we got here?
May the road rise to meet your feet and the wind always be at your back. Yes, super. And may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Dinky do to Lincoln City. Well done, Angela. Scotty, you look as handsome as ever today. I thank you, Selinska. Have a great day, Angela. You will always have a great day because your attitude is right. Tremendous, tremendous, tremendous. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. Everyone should be following Scotty McClue. If you've got a TikTok account, you should be following Scotty McClue. Tell all your friends, insist, say, do you follow Scotty McClue? So change it from what are your pronouns to do you follow Scotty McClue on TikTok? That's the big question everybody should be asking. So can everybody follow us, please, as many of you as possible? Very, very, very important. To support Palestine, everyone. Everyone supports Palestine and Israel. So there you go. Now, uh, Hugh, I think we'll send you down the Swanee because you're one of these very empty-headed, puerile little trolls and a knower of nothing. And you're on the wrong stream, la. So I've just blocked Hugh, guy. He's away. Uh, it was William Patterson who founded the Bank of England, I thought so, Callum. Who said James? That just did not ring a bell. Hello from Ireland, Scotty. Hello from Delaware in the United States and Puerto Rico. Lovely to have you with us, Waldy. Welcome, I say. Um, I like you. Please accept my apologies. Uh, not at all. No, no, Callum, no problem. Can you say hocus pocus? There's a pizza on your focus. Hocus pocus. Did I tell you I was obsessed with the hokey cookie? And the doctor said, I'll need to admit you to a clinic. So I put my whole self in. I took my whole self out. I've turned myself around. And that's what it's all about. <laughs> Scotty, what's your opinion on Queen Victoria? Uh, Susie, she was a wee soul. Great things happened because she married a super guy. Uh, and Prince Albert was going to actually effectively unite Europe through crowned heads. And that would have been the EU, and we would have just been doing so well. So our husband has sadly died of, was it typhoid or cholera, that got Prince Albert and he was only, I think, 42 or 43. And this would be around 1861, I think. And uh, she, was, she was a poor wee soul, Queen Victoria. She was treated terribly by her mother and her mother's boyfriend. You know, was trying to get a hold of power. So I was very sorry, but she was also a wonderful lady. She died in January 1901. She had been the longest living monarch, longest serving monarch. She reigned for 60 glorious years. So she had her diamond jubilee in 1897. But her record has been surpassed by Her Majesty the Queen, our Queen. So there we are. Scotty, I remember you talking about Queen Victoria three months ago. Yes, you've got some memory. Scotty, dinky do. <coughs> A moderator says, Cody, well, no, Cody, very kind of you to offer, but we don't really need, you know, a few wee trolls not mature enough to handle a proper live, you know, a live stream. Scott is a stare, dinky do scare. Yes, Queen Victoria, but I must tell you something. Have a great day, King. I had dinner one night with a lady who had married a gentleman much older than herself who was uh, the ADC to a top lord, right, a field marshal. The field marshal's mother was a lady-in-waiting to Queen Victoria. So she told the field marshal all about it. The field marshal told this gentleman, this gentleman told his missus, and his missus told me. So I was sitting having dinner with a lady, bottom line, right? Sitting having dinner with a lady one night in one of the country's top hotels and where I'd been invited. And um, she was telling me 
about life with Queen Victoria. Yes, how about that? What's your thoughts on Trident Scotty? Um, well, I mean, it's there. What are you going to do with it? You know, Scotty, your lives got less popular over time, but I've stayed. It makes me very sad. Uh, six ER, you couldn't be more 100% wrong. The live has got more and more and more popular. Over 5 million people have seen it. Yes. When uh, we started doing lives, we had 1,000 followers. We're now approaching 13,000. We had about, I can't remember how many likes. We've got 28,000 likes. And it just gets more and more popular. See, when you say you only have 20 viewers, that's because of the time of day. We're just about to finish. People have been watching for over an hour. Hello, Mr. Dinky Doo, Rangers or Celtic. Go and see them both play, Kermit, and make a decision. Who do you think is the best team? And you don't have to support them all your life. You can change. No problem at all. There we are. So the number of people watching just depends on what time we're on. Have you got me? Hello, Mr. Sardinky Do. Uh, Kermit says he supports Rangers. Oh, no, people are telling. Yes, no, Kermit says he supports Rangers. Six years says he supports Rangers. So there we are. So and if you're doing that, then, of course, just as many people will be supporting Celtic. So in the interests of balance, Rangers and Celtic, they're both two excellent teams, so go and watch them play. Right, time I wasn't here, guys. Are we ready? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. Fair enough, Scotty. I'm happy as long as you're growing. Of course we're growing. There's usually more people later in the day, 9 o'clock. Yes, there, you're right. I am a bear, says Susie. Morning, Duke of Dundee, says Onion Badgie. Right. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Au revoir. Zane. Au revoir. And a cheerio. Ta-ra, my loves. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all probably about nine o'clock. Until then, this is Scotty McClure saying dinky-doo to every one of you. ta la -las.